Hi, this is Andy from the ADHD Minimalist, and honestly, I wasn't planning on making a video. I got back from skiing, cross-country skiing as a workout, and my zipper got stuck on my jacket. So I'm sort of stuck in this jacket, and I figured I would come out to the storage room and make a video for you guys because I had some stuff out here that I, I haven't thrown out yet because I thought it might be fun for you guys to see. So a lot of these things are items that they sat around my house so long that I sort of forgot that they were there. Um, I don't know if any of you have had this happen to you, but you know, sometimes things are in your house for so long that they become invisible. And the only way that I actually found these was because I had to empty my entire bedroom and switch bedrooms with my son. Um, when he became a teenager, we gave him the big room because we live in a really small house. And so my husband and I moved into a smaller room and we had to move everything out of the room. And there was a few things that I found that honestly, because they'd always been there, they became invisible. And my brain just told me, Oh, because those have always been there, they should always be there in that exact same spot. And so it's like, they weren't even there, I didn't even see them. Um, so I'm just going to grab some things from a bag. <laughs> I've been having problems with KindMaster, which is the editing program I've been using, so I have to do everything in one take, which is kind of annoying, but I'm going to try because if I have to clip it together later, <laughs> my program crashes. And so they're, they've been trying to help me figure the out the problem but none of their suggestions have worked yet so so far I'm gonna have to just make videos in one take <laughs> okay so down here I have here's a bag <laughs> and this is where I have this stuff that I found so first thing um, <laughs> see if you can see this this is a pair of blue they're not actually jeans they are pants that are lighter material than jeans and they're super stretchy and I tried them on in the store and I actually tried on one size bigger and I thought they were really comfy and then the sales lady came over and she's like those those are gonna stretch out and you're gonna have to have a size smaller than you usually wear and so I listened to her and bought a size smaller and honestly I don't like them at all I feel like they're too tight and um, they're just sort of like skinny jeans except they're skinny pants but they're just so tight and I haven't worn them enough to make them stretch out and I'm probably not going to so these have seriously just been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting in my wardrobe for me to wear them and then every time I do I, I regret it because I just feel really uncomfortable so I finally decided it was enough and I'm just gonna cut my losses and take those to the second hand store then I have this and honestly I don't really know that this is me at all but this is like a shorts outfit kind of thing <laughs> shorts one piece I don't know and it has spaghetti straps at the top but I got it home and then I realized there was something wrong on the back of it and it had to be fixed and then <laughs> I just never got around to fixing it and so even though I kind of thought it was cute in the store it's honestly not really my style at all from the beginning and then I realized that it, I couldn't even wear it because I had a hole in my butt and people would be looking at my underwear <laughs> so, <laughs> so I finally decided to cut my losses on yeah you know, on this thing the shorts suit and I don't know, maybe I should just throw that in the trash. Okay, here is something that I found in my kitchen, which the reason I found it in the bedroom is because my, my girls were playing Play-Doh on it in, in the downstairs when I was moving stuff around. And this is interesting because it's an adjustable pan. Like, you see that? Whoop. It's getting bigger. Uh, if I keep doing this, it'll probably fall into two pieces. But what I noticed is that the girls were playing with this and it's got a lot of Teflon on it and the Teflon is flaking off and it's getting in their Play-Doh. And, and I was like, I don't even know if I want to put cookies on this. So this flaky Teflon pan, even though it's kind of fun because it adjusts to fit every oven, it's going to go bye-bye. Next thing, <laughs> this bathing suit. I don't know. I've had this for years and years and years and it's kind of cute. It has like details. So it sort of looks like it's from the fifties and then it has these strings that tie around your neck and a little belt in the middle. And it sort of has this like fifties, sixties vibe. And I've had this for a long time and I've let people borrow it when they come over to our house to swim in the hot tub. And 
anyway, it finally had enough. Like I put it on and all the elasticity just sort of like fell apart and you could see right through the butt. And so this has been uh, a swimming suit that I've really enjoyed, but it's time to let it go. I can't even wear it anymore. And so I was still keeping it even though it was in really bad shape. And finally I have to say goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for all the fun memories. Oh, and here's another thing. Okay, here's one more thing. See if I can actually clip this together later because the light <laughs> bulb just went out in the storage room where I was keeping all this weird stuff before I get rid of it. Um, this is actually a window lock for small children so they don't fall out of an upstairs window. And our kids have been big for a long time and so this just was hiding in a cupboard and um, I kept thinking, well, maybe it's good to put it up in case friends with small children come over. And then uh, we took away the gate on our stairs and realized that, you know what, if small children come over to our house, we're just going to have to help our friends watch them. And so this just sort of became obsolete. So it's time for this to go too. Bye-bye, um, window lock. <laughs> Um, anyway, it was kind of funny. Um, we, my video editing program quit working and so I have to do everything in one take and the light went out in this storage room where I was filming this. And so if I can't, um, edit this, both of these clips into one video, I might have to put up two videos, uh, which is really odd. But <clears throat> anyway, I've been talking about things that sit in your house until they've been there so long that your brain just tells you, oh, that's always been there. It's supposed to be there. And you don't even realize that it's junk or that it's something you don't need anymore or that you've worn it out and it's broke and it's just been there because it's always been there and your brain just sort of ignores it and so I honestly to get out of this <laughs> mindset I had to move all of the stuff out of my bedroom uh, when we swapped bedrooms with my oldest who when he became a teenager we gave him the bigger room because we live in a really small house and honestly my husband and I don't well, we, we do some fun things in the bedroom, but mostly we sleep there. And so he needed to spend time with friends there and, and do his stuff. Um, so we swapped rooms and I found a lot of stuff that I didn't even remember was in the room. It had been there so long that I forgot that it was there or forgot that I should get rid of it. Or I forgot even that um, I should even think about decluttering it, honestly. <laughs> So one good way to get out of this mindset where your brain just sort of tricks you into thinking you need everything is to take everything out of a room and even take out the furniture if you can't or otherwise move the furniture from the wall and take everything out of them and just really deep clean the room and then put stuff back. And that sort of, um, when you move all of this stuff, you some kind of somehow kind of um, reactivate something in your brain that starts telling you, oh, I have to register this item again. So that is my tip for uh, if you need to declutter a lot of stuff and you um, are having a hard time uh, doing it while all of your things are in your room, it's just to try to move everything out into a different room for a day or it might take you a couple days, but uh, it can be well worth it. I got rid of so much stuff when we had to move from one bedroom to another. I literally filled uh, the guest house with stuff and then we had to drive it to the secondhand store. So stuff that I didn't miss at all because I honestly didn't realize that I had it and it was just sort of hiding away in odd places. So <laughs> I just encourage you to <laughs> move all your stuff out of one room and go through it and then put it deep clean and put it all back. You will feel so good about that room when you're done. And if you need some more decluttering ideas and inspiration, you can go over to my channel, the ADHD Minimalist, ADHD Minimalist.com. My lips are freezing out here. It's like 15 minus Celsius and I'm out in the storage room and it's freezing cold here. Uh, that's because I got stuck in my jacket after I went skiing. I was uh, cross country skiing and I couldn't get my zipper undone. So I'm about to go over to the house now and ask my husband to get me out of my coat. <laughs> So, anyway, I hope you're not freezing like I am, but go over to my channel and look at the videos about um, items that you can declutter today and never miss. And I have a whole series about that, and it's just a lot of inspiration for things that you can get rid of really quickly and easily without taking all the items out of your room. Um, just like an easy way to start uh, if you need some inspiration. And these are items that I went around my house and decluttered, and I didn't miss any of them. This is the really odd things that you... You might not think about them when you're thinking of decluttering, but it's well worth getting rid of them. So good luck. <laughs> Thanks for spending part of your day with us. I hope you're not freezing. <laughs> Bye.